Hey guys and welcome to my channel MathLead. In this video we're going to learn about arithmetic progression or arithmetic series. Now what I've written over here is an arithmetic progression and the reason for that is very simple. We can see that the difference between the consecutive terms is consistent. For example, the difference between 1 and 3 is positive 2. The difference between 3 and 5 is again positive 2. 5 and 7 positive 2, 7 and 9, positive 2 and the same pattern continues. Now, in order, now let's say using this progression, keeping this series in front of us, I want to find out what the 50th term is. So first of all, the 50th term would be written something like this. T50. T50 means that we're looking for the term number 50 or simply the 50th term. Now, in an arithmetic progression, to find any term, or what we call in a more general manner, is to find the nth term. The formula that is used is a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, a is basically the first term, first term of the progression. n is the term that we require, the required term. D is the common difference, the difference that is consistent throughout the progression, the, the common difference. Now keeping, keeping this in front of us, let's find out the 50th term. So the 50th term will be equal to T50 equals the first term first term of this progression which is 1 so here we have a so in place of a I'm gonna write 1 plus in place of n I'm gonna write 50 because that's the term that we're looking for so 50 minus 1 and in place of d I'm gonna write the difference which is consistent throughout the progression which is 2 so in place of d I'm gonna write 2 so let's see what the 50th term comes out to be 1 plus as it is 50 minus 1 is 49 49 times 2 is 98 so 1 plus 98 is equal to 99 so what this basically means is that in this progression if we go on till the 50th term the 50th term will come out to be 99 so you can see that this formula has saved us a lot of time in the next video what I'll do is I'll do a derivation of this formula where this formula comes from and along with that we in the coming videos we learn how to find the sum of a certain number of terms through different methods. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the coming videos. Thank you and happy learning.